Okay, Denver Black and Trent Graybill here today with Soilcraft. We're gonna talk a little bit about cherries. So these are some of Trent's cherries. Where they're supposed to be Rainiers, but some of them are just purely red. Look at these. Red Rainiers. That's normally a early robin. But it looks like a bing. Because nutrition matters. So we're sitting here actually in a cornfield. So we're talking about cherries, but we're in an organic cornfield. We're sitting here having a snack from some of Trent's cherries and we're just remarking at not only how amazing they taste, but how firm the flesh is. And one other thing, which is really interesting. So Trent, why don't you tell us a little bit about these stems and how there's more to it than just uh, keeping them attached to the tree. Well, typically at harvest, one of the major issues with cherry harvest, when you send your fruit to the warehouse on the college report, when you get your pack out is stem poles. And that's when it, they're harvesting the cherries, the pickers are supposed to grab the stems. A lot of times they're in a, in a hurry, picking them as fast as they can, and they end up inevitably grabbing the cherry. And typically the stem is attached stronger to the tree than it is to the piece of fruit when it's ripe. And so it pops off. And so stem poles are a big problem at harvest. These cherries we harvested and these stems are so well attached to the fruit it literally takes all you can do to pull them off and you it almost that? slips out of your finger and it goes pop and i've actually had quite a few of these fruit when i'm trying to pull the stem off to put them in a bag say to put in the freezer that the stem actually breaks in half before it comes <laughs> off of the cherry and that's insane we've we never ever see that typically they just pop off no problem and in this instance it's not doing that and we think that is that attrib we're attributing that effect to the amount of nutrition that these piece of fruit have in them, namely silica and calcium. Because the cell walls, that's the other part, is typically in conventional cherries, actually also you can do it in organic, people apply the hormone gibberellic acid and that makes the fruit crunchy. Oh. So this is not like soft and gooey inside, it's super firm and hard. But these cherries have had no gibberellic acid applied. And so that, we're getting the same effect, only instead of applying a hormone in a synthetic manner, even though technically that's a organic approved product, we're getting the same effect through calcium and silica, which is really exciting because that means the fruit is firm from actual mineral nutrition, not from an added hormone trying to make the flesh hard which means so, we're going to get those minerals in absolutely. our body instead absolutely. of just some yep. wonderful snappy experience mm -hmm. we get a snappy experience mm -hmm. and better nutrition thanks for joining us here at soilcraft where we truly do enjoy the fruits of our labor <laughs>